a beautiful afternoon in Auburn, Alabama, as the Tigers get ready to kick off. And here's the boot from Al Del Greco. Deep into the end zone. It is fielded there. Will be put into play to the line of scrimmage. And the teal is flanked wide to the right. B line to the left. The pitch to Neil Anderson. About two yards. Anderson is wide to the left. The lone setback is John L. Williams. A couple of receivers wide to the right. Peace wants to throw. Now has some running room. Up to about the 28-yard line. Third down and about two and a half yards to go for the first down. Peace looks. Caught by Lang. Nailed for a loss. Back at Lionel, a senior. Nice high floating kick. Should get a good Florida bounce. And will roll dead around the 20-yard line. Nice lineman up front. Outstanding receiver in Ed West. The wishbone. A six-man front shown. Carried by Jackson. The Tigers as they come to a line of scrimmage. Looking this time at a five-man front. Tommy Agee goes nowhere. Stacked up at the 20. Very good, very good football team right now. We're going to try to become great. It's third down. Five yards to go for the first down. Campbell looks, throws, and it's caught by Buford. Woods is wide to the left as Auburn comes to the line of scrimmage with a first down at their own 35. A.G. is the fullback. Jackson and James movement on the right side of the line. Flag down, pass complete to Woods. You see the tackle, Roy Harris. He just anticipated the count, and he was wrong. And Woods makes a reception right here and picks up about eight yards. And Auburn will decline the penalty because now he only has the halfbacks behind Tommy A.G., who has been a bit of a surprise for the Tigers this season. It's second down. Campbell may be checking him off. Back to throw to the side, and it is overthrown. Intended for Buke. It's third down. Campbell. James. Down at about the 45-yard line. It will begin operations at their own 20 and have picked up back-to-back -back first downs. Have it at their own 45. Late pitch to Jackson. Big hole. He's at the 25, the 20. He's going the distance for the Tigers. By Mike Mann. It's up. It's good. Sybil is to his right. Seven to nothing. Auburn leads Florida. A long driving kickoff. Sybil takes in the end zone and will down it there. Replay, they fake inside, then pitch to James. He gets away from Tony Lilly right there in the open field. Now watch him cut back against the grain here, and he'll outrun two defensive backs. Clark there loses his footing, and James then is headed in untouched to put Auburn out front. Excuse me, Jackson on the touchdown. The Gators' second possession of the afternoon. They were unable to pick up a first down in their first possession. A couple of receivers wide to the left. Anderson is flagged to the right. John L. Williams goes no play. Natil very wide to the right. Lying is set as a slot wide to the right. Peace back to throw. Swing pass to Lang. Out to the 25, and he is driven out of bounds. Wide receiver. Ricky Natil is split to the right. The eye is shown. Anderson is a tailback. He takes the pitch. He is upended for a loss. Back at the high booming spiral. James looking into the sun, takes it to 25, escapes, spun down at the 30. They're operating from the wishbone. A.G. is the fullback, and it's James and Jackson. James plows out to near the 34-yard. Now West is moving over to the left side, and Buford comes in to set up on the left as the handoff gets the ball out to... Campbell has a man split to the left. Nowhere to go for Bo Jackson. They have not gotten the good coverage that they had hoped in the recent games. A high wobbly kick. Sybil at the 18. Out 
to the 27 yard line. The teal flanked wide to the right. John L. Williams trying to get outside. Gets across the Neal and the teal come wide to the left. Anderson is flanked to the short side. Peace back. Looks. Finally lets it fly and it's overthrown. Just got to approach it as, as like any other game. Learn your game plan, know what you're supposed to do in certain, when certain things happen, and just, and just take it from that perspective. The screen pass, William gets it out to about the 39, but there is a flat around the 80 Holding degree mark. Holding it out. Peace back to throw, being rushed, unloads. Nice catch by Hampton, but he falls at the 24 yard line when he receives this putt at the 22. Another nice, long, spiraling kick. James up at his 29. Runs into his own man. Needs some running room down the sidelines. And he's driven out of bounds. And the There's a look at what has happened to them offensively so far this season. It's been a very productive wishbone for Auburn. First down for the Tigers. A.J. leaps over the top and comes here and was one of the pleasant surprises for Pat Dye in spring practice and has really helped the club here in the fall. It's second down. Campbell taking a lot of time. Fakes to A.J. Fumble and it's recovered by Lionel J. Quite intimidating about it. Uh, we strive on being very aggressive. And, and I don't care what happens, we're going to do that. We're going to get to that ball some kind of way. We're going to all 11 players at that ball. Well, on third down, I missed the running back underneath. Yes, it is a fake. Left half, Jackson from right. A.G. is the fullback as Campbell checks out the line in front of him. Keeps the ball. Puts his head down. And he is decked after it in the opening quarter. Wing to the left is Lionel James. They call him Little Train. Back to throw. Campbell looks going long. It is caught. Fumbled into the end zone. Let's see. The whistle. It's first and goal. Auburn down knocking on the Gator front door. Bo Jackson, flag is down. He fouls down to the Gators. 7-0, but this offside penalty. Oh. It's going to take a major defensive effort here now. Jackson is hit and dropped. Quarter, it's second down and goal from the four-yard line. Campbell keeps the ball. Score. Spotted by Mike Mann, who wears number 17. He'll place it at the 10. It's up. Paul Greco, who will kick off for the Auburn Tigers, who lead 14 to nothing. Again, it goes into the end zone and foul a first down at their own 20-yard line, trailing by a score of 14 to nothing. Peace to the side, cut, and it's a first down. For the Gators this season, an outstanding balanced offensive attack. First down for the Gators. Hampton out to the 37-yard line. Dixon is split to the right, and B. Lang is flanked to the left. Henderson, the fullback. And Hampton is operating at tailback. Hampton all the way out to the 40, then shoved back to the 38-yard line. Reason. And are asked to do it here again this afternoon. Down 14-0 early in the second quarter. And there's the first down to attack on track now as they move for their second, second, down, second first down. Peace to the side, caught by Dixon at the 50, and he is driven out of a deal is split to the right. Henderson and Hampton behind Peace. Hampton dives and is crushed the year with just two wins. Peace being chased, unloads. Great catch by Williams. And down he goes at the 41 yard line. With a lot of success on third down conversions through the course of the season. Are faced with one here against a tough Auburn. Boy, they are really jammed up in the middle. Peace running, looks, throws and it's caught for the first down, 25, 20, maybe six. It is touchdown for the Gators. He's spotted by Criswell. It's up. It's good. 14 to this man, Brett Fullwood, who is a freshman from St. Cloud, Florida. 
seven. Auburn leads as the Gators have just gotten on the board. And here's the booth. And fine play. That was Ricky Natil's first touchdown as a collegian. Three minutes and one second taken off the clock, an 80-yard drive. They're jamming it up in the middle. The pitch going to Jackson, and he struggles forward for about three yards. A bit they blitzed on first down. In fact, they charged so far this afternoon. That's about a little more than half of what their season's game average is. Pitch to Lionel. Little train goes nowhere. From a hash mark on the far side. West is split slightly to the right. And Woods is split to the left. On the draw, James. First down to the 32-yard line. It's by Melvin Ellison. First down for the War Eagles. Wishbone is shown. A flanker to the left is West. Out to about the 38-yard line as Brent Fulworth, the fine freshman from St. Cloud, Florida, picks up a big game. This is really more of a sweep out of the wishbone where they reverse out and pitch and lead with both backs. And you see nice running right there. They just outman the defense. As they come to the line of scrimmage. Three, two, three. Campbell looking at a five-man front. Again, it's forward. Fumbles the ball. Didn't have to go for the first down. James has the first down. Out First down for the Tigers. James dives forward out to about the 43 yard line for Auburn. The Tigers are leading 14 to 7. Eight minutes left in this first half. AJ slides down the line, gets virtually in five. Now they're splitting West slightly to the left. Campbell looks to throw, dumps it off. Jesse out of bounds at about the 40. They have a first down at the Gator 45. Pitch going to James, hit behind the line of scrimmage and drop for a loss. Nice play by the defense here. They force the pitch right there, Wilbur Marshall does, and there's Roger Sybil on top of the play. 47 yard line. Campbell pitches back to Jesse. 40, 35, spun down and dropped at the 31-yard line. See again the option. He flips it out, and they have lead blocking here in front of Jesse. Roger Sybil's going to miss the tackle here, though. If he'd have hit him right there, the Gators would have had him. But he overran the tackler, and Jesse. Parks is the left end that is split slightly, and they have a wide receiver to the right. Campbell back to throw. To the sideline, overthrow. It was intended. Bad pitch, and James covers the ball back at the 37-yard hit. It's third down, 16 yards to go for Auburn. Campbell back over the middle. James hit and dropped nicely. Auburn, and they have marked off five yards. There has been no explanation all to the Gator 27-yard line as the result of the personal foul call against the Campbell turns, pitches back to James, squirms away, 25-20. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. Now it's a first and 10. Ball at the 17-yard line. James. They go. Touchdown, Auburn. To you again here. Really just a short reverse. And once he's into the secondary, the Gators have chances to tackle him right there, overrun him, broken tackles, and he's in for another Auburn touchdown. Presented by the Tigers. The point after attempt is good. It's Once again, for the Auburn War Eagles, there has been no return of any of his previous kickoffs. Deep men are Henderson, Hampton, and Sybil for the Gators. And another long end-over-end boot. 
Sybil grabs it in the end. And some tough tackling by the 21-7. Gators trail with 3.41 left in the opening half. Peace to throw. Caught by Lang. Out of bounds he goes. Wayne Dixon here. Peace on a play action pass. Dixon's going from left to right. He's running a deep flag pattern. The tight end clears in front of him. And that opens up the zone for Dixon who makes a nice reception and stops the leading receiver on the Florida Ball Club this year. He has caught two this afternoon. Here's Anderson at the 50, shoves forward. That's the signal. Locking, locking below the level. Play. Let's go. A pair of wide receivers to the left. Dixon is split slightly to the right. Peace on the draw to John L. Got a little hung up right at the line of scrimmage. 247 left to be played in the first half. Peace looks, is hit, dropped. Fumble is recovered by the Gator. He Neal is flanked to the left. Peace over the middle. It is caught at the 50-yard line. And a... Out of bounds. There is nobody back. He's going for the near sideline. It's a high, beautiful spiraling kick coming to the side and is dropping dead at the two-yard line. Pull back. Jackson is the right half, and they have set James as a wing to the left. Pitch to Bo Jackson, and he gets out close to the five, just short of the five-yard line. Campbell to Jackson, out to the 10, to the 12, and May comes to the line of scrimmage. Third down, less than a yard for the first down. Campbell takes a lot of time at the line of scrimmage, gives to Jackson, and he got the first down to the 15-yard line. Receivers go wide to the right. On first down at the Auburn 15-yard line. Jackson in motion. Campbell is hit and a necktie tackle. Down he went. We see he's blitzing in, and he, this is what you play defense. Surprise, perhaps. Not so much that the Auburn offense has been so explosive, but certainly a bit of a statistics in the first half. They weigh very heavily in favor of the homestanding Auburn Tigers. At Auburn, Alabama. He'll be kicking to forward Evans and Graham. Fields it in the show. West is split slightly to the left and Woods to the right on first down at the 20. Pitch going to Jackson. First down up to about the 34 yard line. They'll have to have similar results here this afternoon to come from behind against the Auburn Tigers. First down. AG spins out across the 30 minute in the third quarter. The Tigers have West split to the right and Woods to the left. Campbell keeps, pitches to James. Cut down after he... He's a junior from Palatka. Campbell back to throw over the middle, and it is caught by West. At the... They started the ball game here in the third quarter, moving the ball upfield. Pitch back to Jackson. Tries to turn the corner, does. And down he goes at the play against the Gator. And we'll show it to you again. And they get a good block out here on Randy Clark, number 81. You see him. He cannot make the tackle. That breaks down the contain. They pick up the next line. And that will be their sixth awesome offensive show put on by the Auburn Tigers this afternoon. Buford is wide to the right. Reverse. Jesse. Down. West is playing split to the right. Campbell is hauled down for a uh, sack. Jackson is a wing to the right. Oops, a little quick movement on the right side of the Auburn line. Look at an illegal procedure. Seconds left to be played here in the third quarter. It's third down, about nine and a half to go for the first down. Campbell steps back, looks, intercepted. It's Corp. 50. Driven down. The Gators have the ball on the Auburn 34-yard line. Lang is wide to the left. Peace looks, throws, caught by Williams. 25-20. Down he goes and for the Gators. Lang is wide to the right, the long side. The teal is split to the left. Anderson hurdles across the 15 down to the 12. Down this 
crowd is on its feet here in Auburn, Alabama. Williams picks his way to about the nine yard line. Mick Lang in motion. Peace on a quarterback sneak gets the first down to about the eighth and goal at the eighth. Anderson, five, touchdown Gators! Over, as you see it here, what's Neil Anderson go into the end zone? Oh, he, say, he says he fumbled as he crossed into the end zone, actually before. The question is, did he cross the plane of the goal line before the ball squirted out? Right here, they're saying he got stripped and it, number nine hit him. And that's the question. Did he have control when he brought to the play at its 20-yard line? Tough, tough break for the Gators. The score stays at 21-7. Jackson, 5-6, up for 10. Look out. Jackson is going to go 80 yards. It's the wishbone left, and Jackson cuts back right there. He's hit by one, two, three Gators, and this is the second or third time today that a runner has cut back against the defense and gone all the way for a touchdown, and in that particular case... Here's the try for the point. It looks good. It is. It's 28-7. Winner in Auburn. Taking advantage of the turnover goes 80 yards in just 13 seconds for Jackson to scamper that distance. It's 28 to 7 over. The kickoff is deep. Taken at the two. Sybil gets out to the 15. And he's dropped at the 22 yard line. We have eight minutes and 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Peace looks, throws, caught by Williams at the 30, and down he goes. Dixon is split to the left. Neil Anderson has uh, the first down now. Mateel is put to the left. Peace back to throw. Deflected ball falls remaining in the third period. As the Gators try to battle from behind, they trail 28-7. Peace to throw. Caught nicely on the near sideline. And Dixon is put to the left. This crowd is in a frenzy at Girton Hare Stadium. Peace. Caught on the far side by Neal. Has the first down. Also thought that the Gators would have more success rushing. Peace looks. Incomplete. Intended for the long side. Dixon is split to the short side. And Peace pitches to Hampton. Puts his head down and gets to the 40. Williams the fullback. Captain is back at tailback spot. Peace looks, has to run, he runs into his own man. And down. I believe, though, the official may call a personal foul against him. On the Tiger 10. Nice high spiraling kick. James takes it to the 15, loses the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Pair of tight ends. Not much running room. At the right end. And West is split to the left. Campbell keeps the ball. Goes head first out to. Campbell has the right end split. Pitches back to James. Out across the 16 and dropped it about the 17. Colbert stands at his two. Nice high floating kick. I don't understand why they don't catch those. Dixon is split to the right. Pace to Anderson. 36-yard line. A pair of receivers wide to the right. Anderson is split to the left. Pace looks. Throws. Caught on the near sideline at the first down for the University of Florida. Receivers wide to the right. Peace drops back. Throws. 40 left to be played in this third quarter. Peace to Anderson. Up ended as one of him and Wayne Peace looking to his left. Peace lobs one. It's up for grabs. Way out of bounds. Half play here for the Gators. 
Peace pitches to Anderson, and he gets no place. It looked like the ball squirted free. It did, oh. and Auburn recovers. I believe, and it is against Auburn. You're right, Larry. First down for the Tigers. West is shifting over to set up as a left end. Now coming in to join him over on the far side as a tight end. Not much happening at first down. Ball at the 16-yard line. Nothing there. Big hit down. 21 yards to go. Campbell being rushed and throws it away. He was really... Louis Colbert will be doing the putting, standing at his one-yard line. And Roger Sibbled is back at the Gator 41. Came off this right side of his foot. Sibbled picks it up at the 40. Breaks through the first wave. Picks it gets left in the third quarter. Peace looks, throws to the far side. It is caught. And Neal is driven out of bounds. Now is set up as a fullback. Peace retreats to throw. He's going long. It is caught at the 33-yard line and a tremendous hit. Peace. Now there is a flag at the 34-yard line. Lang is wide to the left. Peace back to throw. Out of the flat, caught by a slot to the left. There are four receivers out for the Gators. Peace caught by Dixon, one-on-one, -on -one, breaks free, and he is drilled, at and Dixon, captain, is to the right. Peace on the draw, Williams breaks free, he's at the 10, the 5, and he is dropped at the 2-yard. Now operating at fullback, captain is a tailback, Lang is in motion to the left. Captain dives, and he is stopped at the 1-yard line. Lang in motion to the left. Williams does not go anywhere. Back. Peace. But a good tackle by the old. When it rains, it pours. No, he did have the football. I believe it just came out before he went up. And Auburn with it for Auburn. Bo Jackson. Fouls forward to about. Second down and seven. Campbell. High pitch. Hampton handles it. Flag is down. So let me stand corrected. Off sides again. Ball at the Tiger 12. Pair of tight ends and the wishbone. Bo Jackson has the first down and more. Look out. All the way out deep. Tommy A.G. Second and five for the Tigers. James lost the ball. 10-25 left to be played in the ball game as the Gators take over the football first and 10. They trail by a 28-7 score. Peace shouting up and down the line of scrimmage. Over the middle, B. Lang wide open but cannot have get into the end zone and get the ball back. Peace looks, Lang with a play, and down he goes at a scrimmage with a first down. Peace throws to the side, caught by Frankie Neal, and he's drilled at the 23, 40 yards this afternoon. Captain is wide to the right. Lang is a slot to the left. Peace retreats, a flag is down. Pass is thrown behind. Right to your book. This inaugural edition will feature the five-yard walk-off. Peace throwing long to the sideline. It is caught, and he goes up. Oh, he was. It's third down and 11. Peace being rushed. His pass was deflected in the pockets. And they get it underway. Peace to throw, going long, it is caught. 52 left in the ball game. Peace back to throw into the end zone. Oh. Williams did not have. You never know. Williams plows forward. And 
Williams got in, and it's good. 28-14, we'll be back on the Gator television. Got any opportunity to run it back because the ball is being kicked from the 45. Well, he feels it at the two-yard line, stepped on the goal line, brings it upfield, and down he goes at the 12. <laughs> a lot of them have happened this afternoon. Pair of tight ends in the wishbone. Lionel James. He shoves out to about the... Bo Jackson is wrapped up for a loss back at the 20-yard line, a defensive unit. Campbell keeps, hit, and drop back at the 21-yard line. Good punt, driving Sybil back to his 26. Down he goes, the receiver is wide to the right, 550, left to be played in the ball game. Hampton is flanked to the left. Peace on the draw to Williams, spins across the 35, out to the 39-yard line. Dixon and B. Lang. Dixon with a fine catch at the game has been placed. Peace, swing pass, far side, caught at the 45 and driven out of bounds at the 42-yard line by Tommy Powell. Very close to a first down, but a little bit short. And this is their favorite play, the swing pass off of twin receivers over here, and they execute it to perfection here. And D. Lang takes it out of bounds and saves that precious time. 5.06 left on the Lang is a slot to the right, and Hampton is a flanker to the short side. Williams on the draw, gets the first down and struck. Dixon and Lang, wide to the right, Hampton to the left. Peace looks, throws, nobody home. Natil is wide to the left. Peace looks, throws for Natil. Great catch at the Gators who are trying to get back into this ball game. Pair of receivers wide to the left. Peace shouting out the plays to his receivers. Retreats to throw, caught on the near side and out of bounds. Hill goes wide to the left. Dixon is put to the right. Hampton going nowhere. Fakes the pass, hit and drop. Hill goes wide to the left and Dixon is put to the right. Peace looks, Peace throws, caught at the 12-yard line. Get the big first down. Peace shouting, trying to make himself heard above the din of 75,000 fans. Ooh, nobody. Peace over the middle, caught, touchdown, Gator! Little movement on the right. It's possible. Offside against Auburn. It's up. And the extra point. It's 28-21. Here's the onside kick. Pops up into the air. It's a jump ball. Gators get the ball at the 43-yard line. Ball game. Gators have plenty of time now. They have it at the 43 of Auburn, trailing 28-21. Peace, rush, drop the mark, back at the 48-yard line. The guy that recovered that ball. Excuse me, Bill Nelson. Peace throws a deflected pass, and it falls in. Captain is wide to the left. Dixon is split to the right. Peace back to throw, being chased, unloads. Hampton has it. He's hit immediately. At Harris Stadium is alive with sound. Peace looks, throws to the side, and is overthrown. The ends are tight. The wishbone as Campbell steps up under the center. James gets a couple of. Jackson Fumble. lost the ball, but he grabbed it himself. It's this afternoon. 20 seconds left. Oops. Mark Corp, personal foul. Comeback for the Florida Gators, but they just flat ran out of time and had 
too many bad things happen to them this afternoon. The way of errors to be able to pull it off against these Tigers. Well, I think you 